<laughs> but we recently <laughs> seen you with Dave Chappelle. Y'all was all hanging out. Was Todd live there? Oh, <laughs> I did just see that. Same with my friends in the Jewish community. And that, Kanye, <laughs> is how you buy yourself some time. Have you ever sat down and imagined someone joking about your loss or your pain? Now, this is exactly what Kanye West is going through. Now, I want you to put yourself in Kanye West's shoes. What would you do if they mocked you in such a way and mostly by a person you once considered your true friend? Kindly give us your thoughts on this. During SNL, these are the words Delph Chappelle opened the show with. I wanted to read a statement I prepared. I renounce anti-Semitism in all its forms and stand with my friends in the Jewish community and that Kanye is how you buy yourself some time. He added by saying he has been in his career and it has told him two words one can never say in a sequency and these are the and Jews, literally meaning the Jews cannot be played with and that whoever tampers with them ends up doing no better. In his words, he seemed as though he was advising the rapper West indirectly following his anti-Semitism that caused a lot of controversy where the rapper's social media platforms, that's Instagram and Twitter, were suspended indefinitely. After this mockery, he said in the same monologue that he has been to Hollywood but he has seen it's a lot of Jews. It's a lot, he emphasized. But that doesn't mean anything. There is a lot of black people in Ferguson, Missouri, but that doesn't mean we run the place. Chappelle even went ahead and said that if they are black, it's a gang. If they are Italian, it's a mob. But if they are Jewish, it's a coincidence and you should never speak about it. And honestly, I am sensing a lot of inferiority complex in his monologue. I think you can relate as well. Well, it seems the rapper this time round lacked what to talk about or to make a joke about and his monologue during SNL this time rotated around Kanye West, his anti-Semitism and losses and even though some people found comic relief in this, others found this annoying and one social media user described the comedian's monologue as boring. A fan said in support of the rapper, Nope, I don't care what Dev Chappelle has to say, get better guests please. John Weinberg commented, I have to say that Dev Chappelle wasn't funny and was painting Kanye and Kyrie as victims of Jews accusing them of being anti-Semitic which is definitely obvious and I think you can also see this. Now, even though Kanye West once considered Dev as a true friend when the comedian flied to Wyoming to check up on him, it would obviously not be the case this time round. To put you back a little bit, amid Kanye's run for US president, he was delighted to get a visit from Dev, his longtime friend, he claimed. He posted a video clip and captioned it, Thank you, Dev, for hoping on a jet to come see me doing well. Dev, you are a godsend and a true friend all love and when dev made kanye west's mystery a laughing stock this time round celebrities said dev chappelle gives a tough love master class to his longtime friend kanye west in snl monologue now this is not even laughable because i am just getting a lesson out of this i mean we should not be quick to give people high positions in our lives because a true friend would never mock you in such a way how would he even laugh about his losses from adidas as well yet we all know that this was one of the whole time breakdowns of the year that have ever happened to kanye west because it even made him lose his billionaire status as confirmed by forbes now, remember Kanye West is so outspoken, and in most cases, his statements have annoyed a lot of people, so there is no way he will keep quiet about Dev's monologue. I mean, Dev might not get away with it this time round. Dev Chappelle himself said it that he doesn't think Kanye West is crazy, he just thinks he is not well, which is so ironic. Now, if we are in the same boat, let me see it in the like button. Also, let me see what you think about this entire situation in the comment section.